welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Clemson has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. run and he's brought down. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 34. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down around the seven yard line. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled right around the four yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. From the four yard line, second down. He's on the run. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He made a great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. converts the extra point. So a seven-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Louisville gets set to kick this one away. Powell from the two. He's to the 20. And he just got drilled. Clemson's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen for this offense. He makes his way to about the 32. after a decent run up the gut. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. <laughs> Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Outside for a nice game. Gain of six yards. Third down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 47-yard line. 
Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. They run it left. He fights forward to about the 46. From the 46-yard line, second down. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. Louisville is up a score. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Tackle at the 17 yard line. That's a game of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. On the ground, right side. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. And they make the stop at the 12-yard line. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From the 17-yard line, third down. End zone. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. And he hits the PAT. A nice five-play, 39-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 14-0. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. He's into the open field. He gets hit out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Lawrence picks up about seven yards on the option keeper. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 44. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Has some daylight. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Back's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch.
And down he goes around the 20 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's taken down right around the 18 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and seven. From the 18 yard line, it's third down. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 17. That last pass got him only a yard. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. Louisville's coaching staff's always preaching the importance of finishing drives, and that's what they're doing right now. Well, these players are obviously listening to that because it's nice to see this offense be able to move the football and then take advantage of opportunities. Right now, they have been flawless. We're about set to start things up again. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. First down. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Gets to around the 42. On the tackle. Call it a gain of nine yards. First down. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Start offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. First and 15 now after the penalty. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Gets it out. He's met immediately. A loss of about six. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start. But you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Louisville's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's to the 40. The 50. And he's tackled at the 32. He 
fights forward to about the 29. That's good for a game of three yards. Fight nine. That makes it second and eight. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. First quarter is over. Watch out, folks. This one is turning into a major upset. 14-3, Cardinals. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Louisville up by eight. On the run. Gets out to around the 38. Makes the tackle. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. That's a great tackle at the 43 yard line. He fights forward to about the 40. Might have been some early movement up front. All star offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. Nice run to the left there. They get about four on that keeper. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They'll drop him for a loss. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it fourth and four.
They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And down he goes at the 49. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Louisville holds an eight-point advantage. They'll knock him down for a loss. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. There was some movement on the line. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Makes it out to about the 50. Hall gains around eight yards on the run. Looks middle, got his back. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. King is the punter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made right around the 34. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. And he throws it away. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Pulls in the pass and steps out. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. First and 10, ball on the 49. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. He's at the 40, brought down at the 34. And he's taken down right around the 26-yard line. That makes it second and two. Knocked out of bounds at the 13. Around the five yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and ten. Mike 17, Mike 17. 
and they make the stop at the two. First down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start, offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught it, and the conversion is good. So an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. 14 apiece. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 31. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Play fake. Heading for the corner. He's at midfield. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Makes it to the 21. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great Still way to stall down. out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. He makes it to the 25 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. Nice run there. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Somebody jumped early down there. Ball start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still fourth down. Louisville is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough, and they come away empty-handed. We're deadlocked right now at 14. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 26. He steps out around the 33-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. He's taken down around the 36-yard line.
He throws a dart to the left. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. Throws this one out to the right. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's at the 30. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw. And they push him out at the 18-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. That brings up second and nine. Up the middle for a nice game. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. From the 12-yard line, first down. Rodgers off the left side. They'll bring him down around the 12-yard line. Clemson will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quick shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. They'll line it up again on third down. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Brad, the wide receiver was the key here. He did a really good job of working that route to the middle of the field to the post. But before he got to the post, he kind of looked off the defender to the outside and then moved back to the middle of the field. And the quarterback recognized the big hole in the defense and made the throw for the touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Caught out in the open. And down he goes at the 44. Louisville's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. Sheds one tackler. He's tackled at the 35. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Clemson is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. The slant pattern good for about eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Tackle made at the 22. they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers it's second and ten 
Ball on the 22. That's a great tackle at the 28. The Tigers are going to have to call their third and final timeout. It has the distance, and he missed it left. No good. That's a tough break there for the kicker. So our count is still 21-14, Clemson. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. There's been no lack of scoring here as we've reached halftime. The score, 21-14, Clemson. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Exciting first half there. It seemed like every time you turned around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses coming up with yards and chunks, and it, it's really paid off for them in the first half. Yeah, and uh, it, it's one thing for offenses to execute and, and get little plays here and there and continue drives, but it's really nice when you hit home runs. It's really nice to make it simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're going to get about 30 right here. You know, the offense came simple. Uh, you know, great job playmakers making plays, breaking tackles, you know, spinning off players, making big, making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no secret to it. If you got all explosive offenses that can do this, you can get big chunk plays, they're going to score a lot of points every single game. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Clemson is up seven. A little toss across the middle. Brought down at the 29. That's good for a game of seven yards. That will bring up second and three. They'll work the left side. He makes his way to about the 38. Zips it to the tight end. And he's taken down at about the 45. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and five. Ball on the 43. Big hit there to stop him. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's under pressure. They bring the quarterback down. It's third down, nine to go. Ball on their own 39. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. He's at the 40. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. from the 34-yard line. It's first down. And 
he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a game seven in the play. That'll bring up second and three. Tackled for a loss. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Looking for his man, incomplete. It's Patrick, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 21-17, Clemson. Louisville to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Clemson's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. This was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second From their own 36-yard line. Second down. Clemson holds a four-point lead. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Ross was the intended target. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Hawkins is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there, and down he went. From their own 40-yard line, third down. Flips it middle to the running back, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Lots of three yards on the play. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Powell fields it at the 26, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Louisville's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Clemson is up by four. Makes it out to about the 46. Fires quick. 
quickly, and he's got his man. He's pushed out of bounds at the 36. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. the 16 yard line. That's a game of the play. That brings up second and one. Here's the give. Tries to get around the corner. The five. Knocked out of bounds. Around the two yard line. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Oh, the loss of seven yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. Ball inside the 10-yard line. It's second down. Clemson is up four. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. Counter, right side. Runs outside for a nice game. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. Fires quickly. Touchdown. A good football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 67 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28 yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Off play action. Now he's on the move. Decides to slide. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 28-yard line, it's third down. is out to the tailback on the screen and down he goes at the 26 yard line that is a loss of two yards that makes it fourth and 12. king awaits the snap Powell fields at the 31. Room around the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. 
Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. These tackles around the 31-yard line. Level at the nine yard line. They try to get a head start there. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And he's tackled at the 15. He's got the corner. Good outside run there. Dixon gains seven yards on that play. That makes it 30 goals. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Make it three passes for touchdowns. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. Let me tell you, life can be easier when you've got kids who can make catches like that. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 53-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. Across the 30. The 50. And they finally tackle him at the 47-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers with an 18 point cushion. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And he throws it away. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Yeah. 
We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Fourth and long here after the sack. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he missed it left. No good. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. That time, they couldn't come through. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. From their own 33-yard line, second down. Quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Six-yard pickup. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down around the 48-yard line. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. That's a great tackle at the 38-yard line. He makes his way to about the 28. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. So the penalty makes it first and 15. he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gets out to about the 31. Two yards there on the option keeper. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these linebackers are able to come up and make plays in the holes. is left going the other way got some open field another interception by this defense and their sideline is really fired up yeah they didn't want this quarterback to be able to beat them through the air and with three interceptions I would say they are winning that battle right now it's first and ten ball in their own 47 Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Quick throw, picked off. He has some room. He's at the 30. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16. They'll get him for a loss. 
Loss of one yard on the play. That makes it second and ten. He scrambled. He's hit and got away. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. No game. That makes it third and 11. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Slings it. And he shoved out of bounds around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Quick strike, and he drops it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Takes it and he's tackled short. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, it can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. And they push him out at the 35-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out. And we're just about set to get going again. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Around the 13 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the two yard line. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still first down. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's taken down at the seven. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. Bring him down right around the four yard line. That makes it third and goal. Scrambling around. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. 
Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. The kick is up, and it is good. Clemson to kick. It's Patrick from the one. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front with a veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. Just under three to go in regulation. It's knocked away, incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Strike to his receiver, no good. Jackson, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. for a loss and they'll turn it over on downs unable to convert on fourth down and the ball changes hands this time the offense isn't successful on fourth down the defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go the quarterback leads his squad back out they got three on their last possession little handoff and he gets a yard on the run Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. Ball start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down now and they need to get it to the 26. Drill at the 34 yard line. Lawrence gets around three on that option keeper. Just over a minute left. Kicks up, and it's wide right. No good. So they come up empty-handed there. Kickers have to have a short memory. Just go out and make the next one. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. It's important for this offense to reestablish their continuity. The last time, they were unable to move the ball down the field. In fact, they were taken off the field after not converting on a fourth down. To get the football back, let's see if they can reestablish that confidence. Still Just a minute lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. So the penalty will make it first and 15. And that just might do it. Intercepted. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 
32 yard line. First down. And off to the right. And they get nice yardage on that run. Dixon picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. Clemson, 41. Louisville, 17. The Cardinals, 17. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.